Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another unboxing. I'm charging right through today. I received this box in the mail and I have to say this is not a bag I normally buy. This style anyway. It's a very different style for me for a few different reasons. This is what it looks like. Beautiful dust bag. Cotton dust bag and I'm just going to reach in and pull it out <laughs> look at it okay i've showed you the wrong side this is the right side let's push it in it looks like that it is such an unusual bag guys i'm gonna put the name of this bag on screen because i cannot remember it for the life of me um it's that boxy trunk style it's got the most amazing Silver hardware with the black, really cool tone. This fabric is like a denim, and it's sort of like a gray denim that's sort of got this patchy print all over it. It is quite stunning, guys. A real kind of weekend, um, casual bag. And with the silver hardware, it's got that something special about it. I really like how boxy it is. Um, it also has the strap on top and it also has a shoulder strap so you can wear it cross body. It's got the logos of the Louis Vuitton on here. All the stitching is beautiful. So what's really cool about this bag is that you open it and then you pull the zipper open like so. So it's sort of like a double closure which is kind of cool. Um, there's also all these little tabs along here with the divots. Do they say Louis Vuitton? They do say Louis Vuitton on the divots as well. Details, details, details. There are, there's no feet at the bottom or anything like that. That's just what it looks like. And it is just one big bucket closure. There is no zip. There is no pocket in this bag. So I really think it needs an insert, um, a felt insert with pockets just to organize. The lining is like a gray, dark charcoal gray kind of felt um, thing. And there is the Louis Vuitton branding at the back. But yes, no pockets or anything like that. So um does need a little bit of organization it's also really soft as well and i feel like the insert is going to help it keep its structure which i think is kind of important so the strap is just a plain black um beautiful black leather strap it's got the louis vuitton logos on the clips and also the louis vuitton on the side of the buckle which is nice it's got quite a lot of holes um there's about nine holes so you can wear it a little bit shorter you can wear it a little bit longer which is great there are two little leather loops to keep it nice and secure and i will be showing you guys mod shots but really easy to clip on i don't know if you guys know this you don't even have to with the Louis Vuitton clip, you don't even have to do that, like clip it. You just hold it like this, go over the top and push it on and it just clips on. My mother didn't know that. When I showed it to her, she was like, oh my God, that's amazing. Now remember guys that if you want details of this bag or any of the bags you see behind me, you need to subscribe to my magazine. I'll leave a link somewhere on screen. You'll also see it in the description box um, and you can go there, sign up and have a look at all the information. All right, we're going to get into some comparisons and this is going to be a little bit tricky because I don't really have anything that is like this. Now the first comparison I want to do is the Chanel 19 in the small size because I see that these are quite comparable in size. They look very, very similar um, on the side as well as on the base. The volume of each of the bags looks super similar. Let me just do this. So um, really, really similar, but obviously this one has just a one zipper opening, which can be a little bit tricky sometimes to maneuver. Whereas this is a flap that opens out and is extremely easy to access. 
This one is in the pearl finish. I absolutely love this 19. It's so special. I don't wear it every day because I feel like it's such a special bag. So anyways, that's comparison number one. Okay, the next comparison I want to do is the LV Cousson bag. Now, I just sort of thought the silhouettes and shapes of these two bags were a little bit similar. Um, it also, they both have the monogram. Uh, but you can sort of see construction is different on the Cousson. There are three pockets in there, um, but really capacity might be very similar. I think you'd fit less in the Cousson just because it's the three accordion pockets. But, you know, in saying that, I feel like it's a really good comparison because they're very, very similar in size. I have to say, guys, I have really been enjoying this Cousson a lot more than I thought I would. I grab it quite a lot for the fact that it's a monogram bag. You guys know I don't usually like lots of logos and monogram all over things. So the fact that I still use this one a lot is a sign that it is a great style. I love the chain on this too, the chunky chain. I find it really bougie, really nice to hold and use. Um, chain is a little bit twisted. Don't know what's going on there. Here we go. Okay. Um, and I do prefer the smaller size to the larger one. I've got the larger one in the cream color and I just find I don't reach for that one that much. For one, it's a bigger bag with not that much big capacity. And also the chain on it is a lot smaller. The actual links are smaller and I like the chunkier ones. I think the chunkier ones look nicer. So comparison number two. Next comparison I'm gonna do is with the on the go tote. I think this is called the BB size, I think. I have to double check. Um, you guys can always find any of the other bag videos in my library. You can always search the name and they'll pop up. Or if you don't know the name, you can just type in LV bag and you'll get a list of all my LV bags and you'll be able to sort it that way. Um, now, I chose this one because it is another boxy style and I feel like it is kind of comparable. I mean, yes, you know, the on the go tote is a little bit bigger, but they're both kind of boxy. They both have like a relaxed feel. You can see the bases are really, really similar in size. So it is a really comparable bag. Now I have to say, there is something about this one. The fact that it's got the denim makes it super casual and really kind of cool and a little bit masculine with all the silver hardware. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but I do like it. And the last comparison I want to do is, I wasn't going to do this, but I thought that these bags were quite similar. So it is the Puzzle Bag by Lueve. The shape is really similar, that boxy square shape. Um, I think the capacity will be very, very similar. I mean, look at the base. Look at that base. It is nearly identical. And also, I find the closures a little bit similar. This is like a one zipper small opening. And this is the same, a one zipper small opening. You know, so they're really, really similar in style and structure. Um, and I also think the casual element of both of these. They're both quite casual bags. Um, you could dress this one up if you're wearing black, but I feel like the denim just brings it right down. Whereas I find the puzzle bag, the style of the puzzle bag, really casual. And it's a really hard bag to dress up, I find. I've also noticed, guys, on the styling of this that people are squashing the top down like that, um, which is kind of interesting. It makes it a little bit more casual but I kind of like it being a little bit straighter just because I don't like things being squashed but that's just me maybe I'll change my mind once I start using it I'm gonna head into the mod shots now so you guys can see this on my frame I decided to wear just a little bit of a fun outfit basic tee with a sequined skirt I'm loving this look at the moment just the contrast between something casual and something dressy really um, sparks my interest so I hope you like it. Uh, this bag, I just wanted to show you guys how it would look if you know I was wearing something a little bit different. Um, but you could definitely wear this with a tracksuit uh, or t-shirt and jeans. You know, a basic outfit would look great with this bag as well. Obviously, you can handhold this bag. Um, it's got a top handle, which is amazing, but it's also a big top handle, so you can put it 
up in the shoulder if you wanted to and carry it like a short shoulder bag. Uh, I know some girls love doing that. And because it's on the smaller side, it really lends to doing that. Even though it's boxy here in the edges, the middle's not boxy um, and it's very soft. So you can actually put your arm over it and it'd be really comfortable. Um, also, it's got the shoulder strap. Um, sorry, it's got the top handle and then the shoulder strap. And this shoulder strap is going to be great for crossbody. It is a really long crossbody, guys. I've got it on the middle setting and it is really long. So I think I'm actually going to have to adjust it. Um, I have a feeling this is maybe a guy's bag. I don't know. Could I be wrong? Are all Louis Vuitton bags unisex? Let me know what you think. Uh, I know some of them are not. Like the Capucines I don't think is a unisex bag. Um, but this one looks like it might be. Now, I've got it on the shortest setting. The shortest hole, I should say. Um, because I just want to see if it's going to be a good length because I was, it was on the middle hole before and it was really, really long. Yeah. So that's a perfect length for me. I think I like to sort of carry my bags on my hip, um, like waist hip. So yes, but I am a shorty, so you can sort of see, but you'll see in the mod shots how it looks against my whole frame. Um, and the sizing of this bag, this is the perfect everyday size. The Chanel 19 size in the small, I think, is a perfect everyday size. So this is very equivalent to that. I would say it's probably got a little bit more room just because there's not a lot of padding and it's just one sort of big bucket opening. Um, but yes, uh, I think that it is going to be a really nice bag to sort of just throw on. Imagine going to like, you know, your kids' sports events and things like that. I mean really casual if you go to a baseball game or a basketball game or a soccer game or rugby match like I mean this is a great little bag that you could just throw on not care about throw it on the grass you know it doesn't matter um, that's sort of how I feel about it thank you so much for watching this video and getting this far I hoped you enjoyed this bag and I hope I inspired you be sure to head over to my Instagram as well. I'm really prominent there. I do giveaways, polls, and a hell of a lot more. And I hope to see you next time in my next video. Bye for now.